gonna wear an apron para mukhang pang mala kasi ng food na i-prepare natin for today. Okay? Welcome back to my channel. For today, I'll be sharing with you how I prepare sandwich for my family. So it will be in two variety, savory and sweet, and in four flavors. So ngayon, i-share ko sa inyo yung favorite ng husband ko and ng daughter ko. And medyo lalagyan natin ng arte kasi extra effort means extra happiness for them. Yon. So, tara, more of this hands than my face. Let's go! Hi! Welcome back! So, we'll start with our clean chopping board slash mat. And, simula na tayo. Let's begin with the ingredients. First is tuna. So, I'll be making tuna mayo sandwich. Sharing with you. This is our favorite um, brand, Century. And, syempre, favorite ng aking anak at asawa, egg. So, egg mayo sandwich. Yan. We can add more. Dun sa dalawa na yon we can add favorite din nila, cheese. So, ano, meron kami nung block of cheese. Yung mga cheesy, yung ganun, yung, pero I prefer yung ganito, lalo na pag nagmamadali. Husband ko, may ilig sa may sibuyas. Kaya yung kanya, lalagyan natin ng sibuyas. So, those are for the savory. So, syempre, mayo, mayonnaise, um, paminta, and asin. Yan. Yeah. Yeah. And, ano, mahilig din kami maglagay ng chia seeds. So, we put chia seeds in all our food. Ito ang pangdaya namin kung gusto namin magpaka-healthy. Kasi hindi na namin namamalayan. Feeling mo, meron ka lang sesame seeds sa pagkain mo. And there. That's for the savory sandwich. Moving on sa ating sweet and dessert-like. Um, sa na yun? Peanut butter. So, yan. Favorite namin yan. Skippy pati yung natural. Mer meron din yung medyo nung parang chunky. Pero mas gusto to kasi ng daughter ko. It's in. Next is banana chocolate spread. Ito, um, kasi simula pa lang niya itong um, kainin. Pero um, pwede na rin. Gusto niya. Then, we will include saging dun sa ating peanut butter and dun sa chocolate. So, it's peanut butter sandwich with banana and the chocolate na banana with banana. So, yun. Medyo redundant. Pero at least, merong totoong banana dun sa palaman. So, let's start. So, for the materials, before we proceed, I'll be sharing with you yung bento tools na gagamitin ko. So, with two cutters. Sandwich cutters. So, this is um, a panda sandwich cutter or tasty. Mas ano siya, mas ginagamit siya sa tasty kasi nga daw flat. Um, I bought it from Daiso. I guess this is 88 pesos. So for this one, this is something new. I bought it online sa Instagram. I'll share it with you. Siyempre, ang pinaka-vital part ay ang tasty. So, yun. Kita niyo naman, yung anak ko, parang daga. <laughs> Kasi siguro kanina nagmamadali siyang kumuha at may kahit may nakanat lang, binutas niya. So, ililipat ko tong tasty. Ililipat ko na lang ng lalagyan. Simula natin yung dessert or sweet variety ng tasty. So, peanut butter. Um, tip ko, when using sandwich or sandwich cutter or bread cutter molder, ang daming tawag um, flatten the bread so I'll be using ito 
yung rolling pin. Pero, this one I bought from Daiso din. Kasi, ayoko ng medyo bulky. This one does the job sa pag-flatten ng bread. Bakit fina-flatten yung bread? Kasi, kapag hindi mo flinaten, hindi makikita yung design, design ng food. Kasi, meron din siya dito. I-emboss niya yung design. Kapag fluffy yung tinapay, hindi masyadong makikita. So, medyo ifa-flat mo siya. You need to put pressure. Kaya sabi ko sa inyo, magandang na-flatten na yung bread kasi para hindi mahirap i-cut. At nakikita nyo, meron na siya kagad na ano, nag-mold na yung face mo. So, for those who are thinking, eh, paano naman yung mga tinabas mo na to? Yung mga ganyan. Siyempre, mga crumbs. I can pick it up later. Subo ko. Pero mga ganito, may solusyon dyan. I put it sa ganito. Sa container, I can eat it out later. <laughs> Pagkatapos, syempre sa akin yung tira-tira. Or, ito toast ko, put butter, para magiging toasted bread siya. Pwede mo sabay sa, ano mo, pasta, ganun. Or you can toast again, as is lang, magiging breadstick siya. Pwede kang kumuha ng dip, or square-square mo siyang uh, maliliit, toast, then croutons. So, yon. So, hindi naman sayang. So, put it on the side. Or, if hindi ka pa ready gamitin, pop it in the freezer. Yun. So, ganyan. Diyan ang mga, aking mga edges. You don't throw it out kasi sayang. Di ba? Let's start with banana, ano to? Flavored chocolate spread. And with banana. Ayan, kita nyo. Sisimulan pa lang kasing, ano eh, kainin ng aking anak. Kaya sabi ko sa inyo, um, kaya siya may slot dito. Meant siya para lagyan ng fillings. For some, it might be aid use, pero sa akin kasi ano siya, feeling ko therapeutic siya kapag naiinip ako. Then, you put the cover and ito na. Pressure. Yan! Ganun. See? It's Oops, medyo nag-pop dito. Pero, normally, it's sealed. Dapat ganyan. Paikot yan. Sealed. Then, okay na. Diba? So, we're done with the banana chocolate sandwich. Now, let's do the peanut butter version ng ating sweet sandwich. So, this is, ano, version naman ng peanut butter version. So, I'll be getting peanut butter. Yan, obvious. Peanut butter. Minsan, kukuha lang yan ng spoon. Busin niya. Kasi, ganyan. Kainin lang yan ng ganyan. Sobrang hilig sa peanut butter ng anak ko. So, 
that's our sweet variety of sandwich. The chocolate banana and the peanut butter banana. Okay, so we're done with our sweet variety of sandwich. Now we're gonna do yung savory. So we're gonna do it egg and mayo and tuna and mayo. So let's start. First, we need to cut syempre yung egg. Ito na yung um, egg. I'm gonna put some mayonnaise. Ito lang ang mayonnaise na pasado sa aking pamilya, which is Lady's Choice. So, I'm gonna get a bit of pepper and a bit of Salt. Let's add a little salt. And here, I'm going to add chili seeds. This, for the purpose of sharing with you, I'm just going to add a little bit of salt. But when I'm going to prepare it, it's going to be more bigger than this. Because they're going to make it so that they can get it. consume within the day. So, simulan nila ito as breakfast, as snack. Tapos kapag may ano pa, kinabukasan. Hindi ito nagtatagal sa ref kasi hilig sila sa ganito. This is what I'm gonna use. sealed din siya. It was nicely sealed. And, ayan. And, I think makakapaglagay pa is mga signs. I just need to gauge hanggang saan ko kayang lagyan. So, let's proceed now with our tuna. I'm gonna open it. I've already washed it. Kailangan hinugugasan yan kasi yung room yung sa stock room, hugasan nyo yung ibabaw. And I'm, I'm, I'm opening it now. You need to drain yung oil. Kasi mag, feeling ko, sis, ano, sisip-sip yun siyempre dun sa bread. Yung tira nito, gagawa ako ng pesto. Yeah. Share it with you guys lang kung paano. Yeah, let's scoop out a bit. Magagawa ako ng tuna pesto. Kasi meron din kami yung kamatis pa sa baba. Para masarap siya kasi ba. Bring in the ultimate favorite Mayonnaise. Okay. Put some salt. Put some pepper. Yeah. Then you can also add in chia seeds. Let's get a batch of bread. overfill ko siya. But it's still good. Yan. There. So, this is I've already prepared this earlier. So, may tamatis. Pwede nyo siyang ilagay yung inyong tuna. This one, tuna. And I'm gonna get yung kanina tuna. And I'm gonna get here yung dessert. 
Ayan. Ayan. And we can cut the remaining bananas kanina. Put it here. Mm-hmm. Medyo nag-yellow na siya. Merong ano dyan, may tip dyan para ma-prevent ma yung pag-yellow ng banana. I'll share it with you ano, sa aking future vlogs. Ayan. These are cherry tomatoes. O, kamatis pwede din. Kung anong gusto nyong ilagay. These are food picks. Ayan. And these are jellies. I can share with you in the future kung ano pa yung mga tools na ginagamit ko. Pero, this is my go-to. Mga cute food picks. Which my daughter calls it. Kasi, it's a quick pampaganda sa inyong baon. Tusukan nyo lang. But you need to also inform, syempre, yung <laughs> kakain. When my daughter, I will tell my daughter, oh, you have two food picks, ha? Be mindful. Una, kasi baka ma-accidentally makagat niya. Pero it, it's popping out naman. Kitang-kita naman. And at the same time, they need to be careful or mindful of yung food picks. Baka accidentally maitapo nila. <laughs> yan. So, yan. So, this is the finished bento. So, you can um, divide it kung para sa husband mo yung isa and sa iyong daughter or sa iyong son. Ganun. So, this is the finished sandwich. So, combination of savory and sweet. And yung sides, pwede mong lagyan. It's up to you how you want to fill it. Then, that's it. Thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed my video. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe and like my videos. And if you want to be notified in the future sa mga i-upload ko pang video, hit the bell button. So, thank you! Bye! Ready na ba kayo? This is the leftover from my bento. Tada! I made it into a tuna pesto pasta using yung ideal na black ink squid na pasta um, pasta noodles. So I already tried, tried it with ano talaga pusit. Pero this is the first time na gumamit ako ng tuna. And tada! The leftover pinagtabasang bread. <laughs> Medyo na sumunog ko siya, pero ah, very crunchy and yummy. Thanks, guys. I'll see you on my next video. Bye!